That's it, baby. The sugar Shell stays undefeated. Wow. You guys didn't watch the boxing fights at all last night, then? No. Uh -oh. I was. You know what? Let's start. Let's just go from. Uh, let's just do the top three. Who Who was the first one again? The first of the. Uh, oh, was, Jeremy Stevens, Jose Aldo. Yep. That just pure boxing. I don't really. You watch the highest level pros sometimes. I, I don't know. I'm not a huge boxing guy, but it's like, eh, whatever. Jose Aldo, Jeremy Stevens was entertaining and they both look so skilled and they both took that so serious and they're rolling and slipping and ripping body shots and covering up had good defense and it was such a fun fight to watch and it was a majority draw which i agree with i'm like if i was i wouldn't i didn't know who looked like they won because they both had even rounds um but but that fight was so fun to watch huh yeah well those guys those guys have been probably training striking probably four times a week for the last 20 years yeah but they were skilled, dude. They, they, it seemed like they had the, the pace, the boxing pace down. Because mm -hmm. the boxing pace is so much different. But Jose Aldo, I was I was asking you, I was like, I wonder why Jose Aldo left the UFC. If he's still that durable, he was taking some of Jeremy Stevens' best punches. Yeah. He's that durable. There's still so many big fights for Jose. But I, I wonder why he left the UFC. I wonder if he's getting paid like pretty heavy. I, would, I have zero idea, but I would guess there's no way he's making more money boxing than he was making in the UFC. If I had to guess. Hmm. In that in that specific that fight versus his last fight in the UFC, I would say he made more, but I don't know. Maybe maybe he's just like I, I don't want to wrestle anymore. I don't want to kick anymore. I just want to boxing's a little bit easier on my body. Oh, so maybe he's gonna do easier, that. dude. Yeah, and he beat Jeremy Stevens in uh, UFC. UFC before, and maybe it's a, just a, a class of opponents. Uh, but I I don't know. Yeah, because he's got to have plenty of bread. Yeah, he's sitting pretty. I'm sure. So he's just doing it because he maybe wants just, to do yeah, it. Yeah, maybe cool. he literally he's like, I don't, I might get half the money, and but this is going to be f fun. Training camp for a boxing fight would probably be fun, especially after MMA camps. Mm -hmm. It's just MMA camps are so and he, kind of the same shit all the time. He just retired too, Jose, didn't he? I mean, he hasn't been out the game that, that long. Yeah. Who so knows? He might maybe he just, yeah, like, just wants to get something in. He might come back too because think of all the sweet bantamweight fights that are for him. Ooh. Adrian Yon. Or even, like, even if he did stay at 45. You know what I mean? Even if he's like, I don't want to cut 35. I'm going to stay at 45. He's still a f***ing killer yeah. at 45. Amazing. What's up, Sugar Squad? If you like this video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click down below to check out the full episode and subscribe to be a part of the journey.